That's right, Jackie and Taman, along with receiving winter coats and socks for free. People came here today to say thank you to Jesse White. The Illinois Secretary of State is retiring in January, but he says that's not going to stop him from doing what he loves, continuing to serve this community and help the young people. We want to thank Mr. White for his 64 years of service, yeah. of giving back to our neighborhood. A celebration at the community center in River North on Saturday as hundreds of people came out to honor Illinois Secretary of State Jesse White. We love you, Mr. White. In fitting form, the event included a giveaway of 500 coats donated by the Korean American Freedom Network and 200 socks. Every year you see a whole bunch of people in the neighborhood walking around with these coats on and it just feels so good to know that we help someone to stay warm. This is the 14th year White has been part of the coat giveaway. This year partnering with Alderman Walter Burnett to ensure the 27th ward is warm for the winter. Since I was a little boy, Jesse White's been giving us stuff. He's been giving us from shoes, socks, coats, bats, gloves, bikes, you name it. Whatever people donate to him, he give it right back to the neighborhood. And while the gathering was a chance to thank White for his work well done in office as he prepares to retire next month, the 88-year-old public servant doesn't plan to stop doing what he loves, helping young people and his community thrive. Someone asked, am I going to remain in the community? Am I going to go down to the Bahamas or Hawaii or someplace? No, I'm going to stay right here in the neighborhood and continue to do the work that I've done long before I became an elected official. And Jesse White has served as the Illinois Secretary of State for 24 years. Before that, he was a state representative, and before that, he was a recorder of deeds for Cook County. Despite all of that, he says that his biggest accomplishment is actually the Jesse White tumblers, the thousands of young people whose lives have changed through that program. Reporting live in River North, Alyssa Donovan, WGN News.